Hi students, I am Praveen Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the fourth model of STLC, that is spiral model. This software testing model is similar to the agile model, but with one more emphasis on risk analysis. The different phases of the spiral model includes planning, risk analysis, engineering, and evaluation. In the spiral model, we need to gather the requirement and perform the risk assessment at basic level and every upper spiral builds on it. The drawback of the waterfall model are overcome in the spiral model. The model consists of four phases. Those phases are planning, risk analysis, design and custom evaluation. The four phases are iteratively followed till the problem are rectified. Two to three prototypes are developed before the final product is delivered. Each prototype follows the entire cycle to solve the problem. This model of software development enables to understand the problem associated with a particular phase and deals with those problems when the same phase is repeated again. The various phases involved in each cycle are detailed as The first phase is planning phase. In this phase, the specification, objective, constraint and alternative of the project are listed in logical order as per the project requirements. The objectives and specifications are defined in the order to decide the strategies to be followed during the project life cycle. The second phase is a risk analysis phase. This is a very crucial phase of spiral model. During this phase, all the alternatives that are helpful in developing a cost-effective project are analyzed and all possible risks involved in the project development are identified. In the third phase, that is the design engineering phase, in this phase where the actual development of the software takes place, the software product is developed iteratively and passed on to the next phase. The fourth phase is testing phase. In the testing phase, the customer receives the product and gives comments and suggestions which can help in identifying and resolving potential problems in the developed software. During this cycle, all the phases concentrate on the feedback received from the customer and the testing team to resolve the drawbacks and bugs found in each prototype of the product. The main drawback of this model is the amount of time taken to complete the iterations which can increase the cost. Testing at the customer end and fixing of the bug might require higher cost and time. So, we are going to talk about the spiral model and the iterative model. Basically, the model is the step of the design strategy and the spiral model. One step is the planning, the risk analysis, the coding and engineering phase, and the evaluation and testing phase. If we have a customer to product develop a product, we have a requirement to collect the plan. We have to analyze the plan. Analyze the particular data we have to develop. Develop the test here that we custom and the model in a number of kind of children. Up e model correct ano, either not the name modification verthano, yen the can custom rudesh to the puri that and the carrying a lad jayanum. In an all a carrying a lamb in the random the custom and the kail in the collective. Again, number in the e collective they can the data and number plan jayum, analyze him, analyze the data in which number in the coding and implement him, implement the term in the test team. Test is that again, or second model, or second prototype, we need to number them. Customer deliver it. Again, customer and the again, that is another run change. No, come customer or desh again. The idea is that we do work in the customer mind. So, like, mind, so like, in a sense, we need to give customer that the feedback girl, the developing team, and all them. Angana get that feedback girl again, developing team and them analyze it. Match angle with that, we need to coding it, implement it, it. Test jam, along evaluate jam, again we end the number of the customer na, or third model number of developer to do kum. Ab yedo or naalo ancho ta wana aru iterative ayte, palla levels ayte number naarthi kariyimbo. 
വളരെ സിമ്പിളായിട്ടുള്ള ആ കസ്റ്റമർ റിക്വയർമെൻറ്റിൽ നിന്ന് ഓരോ ഫേസ് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഓരോ ഐട്രേഷൻസ് കഴിയുമ്പോൾ കൂടുതൽ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള വലിയൊരു പ്രോജക്റ്റോ പ്രോഡക്റ്റോ ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം ഇതിനെ മാറ്റാനായിട്ട് കഴിയും സോ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഇതിനെ ഒരു അജൈൽ മോഡലിൻ്റെ കുറച്ചും കൂടെ എംഫസൈസ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള മോഡിഫൈഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു മോഡലിനാണ് സ്പൈറൽ മോഡൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന മോഡൽ അറിയപ്പെടുക ആൻഡ് വെൻ വി കം ടു ദ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദീസ് മോഡൽ ദിസ് സ്പൈറൽ മോഡൽ പ്രൊമോട്ട്സ് ദ റീയൂസ് ഓഫ് എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഇൻ ഏർലി സ്റ്റേജസ് ഓഫ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് and secondly it allow the quality objectives to be formulated during development third one is it provides preparation for eventual evolution of the software product and it eliminates the error and unattractive alternatives early stage and this model balances the resource expenditure this model doesn't involve separate approaches for software development and software maintenance and it provides a viable framework for integrated hardware software system development and it is suitable for the complex and large systems and we can add functionalities depending upon the changed circumstances and finally this software and finally the softwares are produced in the early stages of this cycle and when we come to the weakness or drawbacks of the system This process needs or usually associated with rapid application development which is very difficult in practical life and this process is more difficult to manage and needs a very different approach on opposed to the waterfall model and it is a costly model which requires highly specialized expertise in the risk analysis as well as this model does not work well on simple direct projects so my dear students the spiral model is one of the software testing life cycle model hope you had understood this topic so dear students kindly go through this assignment questions the questions are first one write in detail about the spiral model second one compare the advantages and disadvantages of spiral model so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the fifth stlc model that is the iterative model See you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best